What if back rooms with but with five Bigfoots? You wake up. The air smells damp and moist. Around you are these yellow walls. The wallpaper is slowly but surely slopping off of the walls. You can hear water dripping in the distance. You yell, Hello? Is anyone there? And yet no one answers you. You can't hear anything or anyone, just the sounds of water dripping as you walk around what appears to be an abandoned office complex of some sort. An hour passes by as you explore the rooms, and then you see him, Jeffrey. Hello, sir. The Back Rooms Butler. Coming January 2025, Jeffrey, the Back Rooms Butler. And that's how we elevate liminal space. Not with a scary monster, but by putting a guy who's a butler in there. Jeffrey, would you give me some wall wine? Yes, sir. Absolutely, sir. Yes, sir. Anything for you, sir. Jeffrey, can you tell the shadow people I'll be late to bridge? Yes, sir. Absolutely, sir. I'll be right on that, sir. The Backrooms Butler will enhance the liminal experience of the Backrooms by giving you a guy who buttles. Jeffrey, could you please uh, uh call Marjabelle and tell her I'll be late? Uh, yes, sir. Why, sir? I'm stuck in the ball pit again, Jeffrey, and I can't get out. Absolutely, sir. Would you like your ball pit stick? Yes, Jeffrey. That'd be great, Jeffrey. I'm just thinking about the back room's butler. I'm thinking about the, 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 the idea of just a guy in the back rooms who just helps you. He's just a friendly guy. He buttles out there. The back room butler, Jeffrey, he buttles. I'd be way more interested in that versus like, I'm here in the back rooms. I got skinnamarinked again. Somebody just skinnamarinked me. I'm in that fucking house. The demon's taking away the doors and the windows. He making me play with Lego. Skinnamarink scary demon versus Jeffrey the backrooms butler. Who wins? Jeffrey the backrooms butler is sweeping the demons. He's just a bud. He's a buddy. He's a friend. How tall is Jeffrey? Seven feet tall. Backrooms butler. Seven foot tall. Backroom butler. Jeffrey the backrooms butler. You may be suffering in the backrooms, but when you finally find the elusive Jeffrey the backrooms butler in the backrooms... He will give you a Cornish game, game hen every single day. You get a free turkey every day. He can bring you to the back room's shuttlecraft to get you out of there. But if you leave, you have to leave Jeffrey behind. Would you want to leave Jeffrey behind to escape to the comfort of your home? Or would you stay with Jeffrey? With unmitigated buttle service, unlimited buttling, or your house. Now, downside, you're in the back rooms. But upside, you get Jeffrey. Need more positive liminal spaces. Me stuck forever in the giant McDonald's playpen. I'm not leaving. They got free chicken nugget. Butler Jeffrey ERP. No! Don't make Jeffrey a sex thing. Stop this. You're corrupting that pure innocent backrooms butler. Parker, get out of the way. Park your keister somewhere else. Or I'm going to send you to the doo-doo realm. Putting you in the doo-doo realm directly in there. That's where you live now. I got to come up with a downside to Jeffrey. Uh, le uh Let me... Le Pro, backroom butler, get you anything you want. Con, he really likes to tickle you. Now, Jeffrey, stop that. Ah, sir, coochie coochie. Jeffrey, you know, I hate this, Jeffrey. I'm sick of this shit. But, sir, coochie coochie coo. There we go. I figured out a downside. Downside to Jeffrey. He loves to tickle. Hey, some people don't like to be tickled. Some people like to be tickled. That may be a pro to you, but a con to somebody else. Okay, all right, real, you want me to come up with a real negative for Jeffrey here? Uh, he has to eat a whole human head once a week. There. <laughs> you have to find and feed him a whole human head. Are you happy now? Now we got Jeffrey eating a whole human head. This is what you did. I didn't make him racist. Don't make him racist, Brendan. Jeffrey's not racist. Uh, we're talking about Jeffrey the Backrooms Butler, and now he has to eat a whole human head once a week. Otherwise, he loses it. That just makes him more handsome and mysterious. What, that he eats a whole human head? Ah, oh, handsome and mysterious. Me like you. I love Jeffrey. Big Jeffrey fan right here. Why do you make your character... Why do you always make your characters cannibals? I don't know. What if they ate people? That'd be fucked up, right? <laughs> hey, here's a new character. Blippo the fun guy. Oh, Brendan's new guy. Blippo the fun guy. What does he do? He loves to bounce and play and have a ball. He'll catch you even if you fall. Oh, but what about the downsides, Brendan? He eats people. 
Yeah. Yeah, he'll eat you. Yeah, he'll just he'll just do it. He'll eat you. Look at this guy. Immediately eaten by Blippo the Fun Guy. That's what happens. He loves to bounce around and play and sing, but he also eats people. It's a reliable hook. What if there was a guy, but he like ate you? Fucked up, huh? Uh, but what if I ate him? He gonna be like a pineapple. He going to eat you from the inside. Like a slurm worm. Bring back tickling Jeffrey. Okay, all right. Je Jeffrey doesn't eat people. He just tickles you. Oh, you know what? Actually, Jeffrey reeks of garlic. How about that? A real... We're, we're, we're thinking of negatives to Jeffrey, the backroom butler. Uh, Jeffrey, he eats way too much garlic. He smells of it. It's like porous. It's like crumbing out of his skin. Reeks of garlic. Jeffrey, would you please contain your dank odor? Sorry, sir. I just smell of garlic all day, every day. And you find Jeffrey, and you find Jeffrey, and you find Jeffrey. That's just the name of the butler from Fresh Prince. <laughs> Jeffrey, can you make me a sandwich? No. Ah, uh, but Backrooms Butler Jeffrey would say, yes. We're getting really hardcore into the Jeffrey, the Backrooms Butler zone. We're like theory crafting way too hard here. Oh God, what else? What else can we do to Jeffrey? What if I gave him an inflatable ass? I don't know. I'm just thinking here. I'm, I'm spitballing here. What if I made it so that Jeffrey only listens to hyper pop? And he has it on all the time, and it's very loud. What if Je what if Jeffrey can't help you between 7, 7 p.m. and 8 p.m.? Because he's too busy playing Fortnite. But he won't play with you. He won't play duos with you. The downsides to Jeffrey. Building up lore for the Jeffrey the Backrooms Butler dating sim. Nobody's going to make that. Nobody should make that. <laughs> like Rock Distributor says, Brendan always making some kind of new fucked up guy. Every stream, we got a new fucked up guy. Sorry, sir. I'm listening to uh, Family Guy, Bag of Weed, Nightcore. I'll help you out in a moment here, sir. Let me assist you in a moment here, sir. I'm listening to Family Guy, Bag of Weed, Nightcore. 